Okay, let's talk about the physics of invisibility cloaks. And this deals with stuff like metamaterials and negative index or fraction. So let's just get started. Here we go. Suppose I have an apple. So here is my apple. And I can see the apple. The most important thing is that I can see this apple because I have a light source. Light comes off of some source, maybe it's a flashlight, and it goes off in all directions. Some of that light comes down and hits that apple, reflects off, and then comes into my eye. And yes, my eye is just a big circle, just for an illustration. And that's how I see it. Okay, now imagine I have no light, then I couldn't see the apple, everything would be black. I, if I do not have that light coming from reflecting off of the apple and getting into my eye, I can't see it. That's how we see things. It's not stuff coming out of our eyes, it's stuff going into our eyes. Now I have this wall behind the apple. We can't see the wall because the apple blocks it. And that's kind of an important uh, thing. Uh, you can't see through apples. Light doesn't pass through apples, it only passes through certain materials. Visible light, you can't get to pass through. You can't make it glass, that just, that's not an option. Okay, so here is the most basic invisibility cloak that you can make. So here you take a black background and you put a black piece in front of the apple. Now, if it's perfect black, uh, the Vanta black is a great example of this is stuff that's like super, 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 super black. When light hits that, it doesn't reflect. And so you can't really see it. It looks black because no light's getting to your eyes. But if it's super, super black, and you put another super black thing in front of it, you, your eye can't tell the difference between that. It can't see any shadow. It can't see any shape because there's no light coming back to your eye. So you totally cannot see it. Now that would work if you're at night. You could, you could, you know, have something perfectly black. Um, and if you have two, you have to have a, a black background, and you have to have a black thing on top of that. Now this is sort of the way that stealth radar works. The idea is that there's nothing that ref the angles of this aircraft are created in such a way that radar reflects off in a different direction and not back to the radar and so you can't detect it. Okay, so I probably should have had a picture in that, of that in here, but I don't. Okay, now here is your real invisibility cloak. This is with some type of meta material. So the idea of a meta material is that light reflects off of that back wall, okay? And that back wall, when the light comes off, it actually bends around the object. The common analogy is to talk about uh, a rock in a stream and the water kind of flows around it. And so if you're that human eye, where does that light come from that you see? You don't see the apple because it's not coming directly off the apple, it's coming off the back wall. So you would see that back wall uh, it would probably appear not perfectly invisible because um, you know the path difference, there's a difference, it's got to take a longer distance to get to your eyes, so that can cause some weird optical effects, but I'm not really sure. But let's just say it would. Uh, also, if you think about that light coming down to the apple, I didn't draw the path, but it would also be curved around and go keep going in the same direction, so you wouldn't have a light reflected off of it. So in this case, you would just see the back wall. If there's nothing behind it, you wouldn't see anything because that light bends around it. Now that, that's kind of tough to do. How do you make an object that does that to light? Um, one of the ideas is to use uh, a negative index or refraction. So to understand that, we need to understand what an index or refraction is. So here's an example of a cup with water. Water, light does have uh, an index or refraction that's different than air. When I put that pencil in there, it looks like the pencil's bent. It's not bent, okay? But what's happening is when light enters this new interface of air to water, it bends. And this bending amount depends on the index or refraction. And it always bends towards this perpendicular line that's perpendicular to the water. And so if this is blue stuff is some water, uh, you would actually look at that and you could see the light coming off of it, but it looks like the object's in a different location than it actually is. Because your eye can't tell that the light bent. It just thinks it wasn't bent. So that makes it appear to be in a different location. So what is a negative index or refraction? This, would, this is some pink metamaterial. And in this case, the light comes in and it bends, but it doesn't bend towards the index, or the index line. It bends uh, on the other side, so it actually comes in and it looks like it reflects inward. I don't know what this would look like if you had a material inside of there. It would like double negative index or reflect and you'd just get something weird. I really don't know what it'd be. Okay, but this is important as a way to get that light to bend around the apple. Okay, but I, I don't really understand that, so you don't have to either. But you can, 
make your own invisibility cloak. So here's uh, a, a little example. I have these little Lego pieces and I put one in the cloak and you can't see it. It's not perfectly lined up. In front of it you can see it. Um, there's a piece of Lego behind it. I can push that behind it and you... That, that's in the cloak, I'm sorry. That one was behind it. You could see that, right? That's in front of the cloak and then if I put that behind the cloak, see I can see it behind the cloak. That's pretty cool. Okay. It, it actually, it's not a really great invisibility. And I did find this uh, online, so I wanted to make my own. I'll include the link to this video, uh, the original video down down in the in the uh, description below. But let me show you how to make this. You need four mirrors. Okay, so here I have four mirrors, and they're both at right angles to each other. So if I have light coming off that marker in the back, it's going to come and it's going to hit that first mirror, reflect the side, hit the other mirror, reflect again, and kind of this bends it, takes it uh, one, two, three, four reflections to get around the marker. So kind of it doesn't go smoothly, it goes in an angle. And so then you would not see the blue marker, you'd see the red marker. Um, now in order to get this to work, you want to be really far away. So that's why you, I used a camera with the uh, a zoom lens because when you zoom in from far away you can't tell the difference in distance between the back wall and the, the object so if you don't have that it's not gonna look great and even mine didn't look great because you got to get it lined up it's kind of tough so but that's how you make an invisibility cloak now it wouldn't work from all different angles just this one angle but it is still pretty cool to do and I you can get some of these cheap plastic mirrors uh, from the hobby store and find some way to make them perpendicular. I use these bars to hold them up, but you should try it because it's pretty cool. Okay, there's your invisibility cloak.